himself to sleep and then he falls asleep and he's a happy boy so you'll probably see Addy's missing some fur on his legs here as he stands up why don't we turn around both both legs and also from his belly and there's a reason for that and I'm going to talk about it now I want to do a little warning that if you don't like hearing about pet illness, diseases, stuff like that, which I totally get, um, I would just skip forward past this part, and um, there'll be a bit on the timeline where it says like Atticus update or whatever, and you just skip to the end of that, and then it'll be all good. We'll do something else. So. Um, but for those of you who want to know why he's got little boots, um, Atticus was in the hospital recently. Uh, in and out of the hospital, actually, for six out of seven days. So this sweet little boy so, so sweet. He's been having health problems. And he's actually been having health problems his entire life. And he's only two. He's just a young boy. 
so I don't wanna- I don't want to talk about it too much because obviously it's a very very stressful topic and it is the cause of all the stress that I've been talking about lately if you've been hearing me say that I'm in a, a very, going through a difficult time, I'm under a lot of stress it's because of this guy he's taking a few years off my life <laughs> so I'll go into it briefly but just know he's okay right now Basically, Addy has had health problems, yeah, since he first came home. So, you know, when you first have a kitten or a puppy, you usually take them in to the vet for, like, puppy kitty shots, checkups, stuff like that. Well, Addy went in for his, got some little shots, and the rest of the day he was really, like, out of it. And, you know, we called the vet and said, he's really not acting, he's like very lethargic, but we don't know if maybe that's just like a reaction from the shot. And they were like, yeah, probably is, monitor him tomorrow. Tomorrow, or the next day, sorry. He didn't really improve much, and we noticed his breathing sounded funny. So, eventually, by the time it was getting to the point where it concerned us, it was late at night. So we took him to the emergency vet, and they like scanned him, and they were like, yeah, I think he's got a pneumonia as a side effect from getting his little kitten shots. So we're like, oh my gosh, poor guy. But because of this, like he went back to our vet uh, not long after, and like had some more checkup stuff. Um, don't touch the mic. gross, dude. You don't have it in your mouth, do you? Atticus. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, long story short. Um, Addy had some inconclusive results uh, after that regarding his health and we also noticed that he is anemic, which was the only really symptom he had. So Atticus has been on like an, an iron supplement to help with his anemia. He's been on that his whole life. Um, and it's not really normal for cats to just be anemic, so we were kind of concerned, but he was acting fine, and as long as there was no reason to worry, we weren't gonna worry. Um, he's been pretty, pretty okay. Fast forward to about a month ago, Atticus slowly stopped being interested in his food, to the point where we had to sprinkle on his favorite snacks, uh, a little chicken snack in order to get him to eat it, and even to the point where that was no longer enough and he didn't want to eat at all. And as it got worse, we were like, okay, we're gonna take him to the vet if this proceeds. So when the point when he stopped wanting to eat the chicken, we thought, something's not right, we'll take him to the vet. That was on a Monday. We took him first thing Monday morning had some tests run, uh, and we also got him like some wet food, and he was eating the wet food. Normally he eats dry, that's what he prefers. So he's eating his wet food, and we're waiting for the results of this test, but as the week goes on, he seems to be doing better, eating the wet food and all that. We don't get back the results until Friday. Yeah, Friday in the afternoon, and they they call us, and they said, how is he doing? We said, he's doing pretty good, seems to be improving, and they were like, 
the doctor said, I'm very surprised to hear that. His kidney values are incredibly high and he needs to be hospitalized immediately. Which is some of the worst things you could hear. So we freaked out. We did end up taking him to an emergency hospital and they put him on fluids and stuff. Oh gosh, I can't talk about this too much because it's really it's really awful for me to talk and think about and it must not be good for you to hear either essentially he was there, we took him home um, then he went back to the hospital because it was, like things still weren't good like I said, he was there till six or seven days which is when they shaved his little paws and his belly the belly was for an ultrasound to look at the kidneys and then that was for his, like, his fluids in his arms and his checking blood and stuff. Eventually he came home after having improved while he was there. Um, so all this, uh, you know, all these weeks are passing and that's what has been so stressful for me. We, he's home now. He got a little worse when he came home we started him on some new treatments and he is, I think, steadily improving. It's slow, but we've noticed a big improvement in his behavior. In fact, he's really calm right now because he's slightly still on a bit of a sedative from yesterday. He had to go to the vet for one of these treatments. He's getting like a weekly injection and we have to sedate him beforehand because he gets so stressed out by the vet since he's been there so many times in his life and he's been poked so much and prodded and he hates it and I don't blame him. Um, and so yesterday we were there and things have improved a little. Which is why I finally feel like I can make this video and tell you what's been going on with him. It's been awful, I won't lie. And without being too emotional, there were times where we didn't even know how much time we'd have left. But we are gonna take care of him as long as we can. And he's gonna work hard too. He's eating again a lot. He has a big appetite. In fact, he ate an ex a whole extra tin of food yesterday. So he's got a big appetite, don't you? And he's silly and he's playful and he bites my feet. <laughs> yeah. So this little guy is a fighter and you can write some support for him in the comments if you want. I'm sure that will mean a lot to him. Okay, so if you're tuning back in um, from skipping the, the, the health update, I'll give you a quick recap which is that Abby has some health problems. They're possibly like long-term, lifelong, we don't know, but we are giving him treatment and he's stable right now, and he seems to be improving, so we're just gonna, we're gonna keep looking after him. I thought that we would do a little brushing. This is Addie's slicker brush. He loves this. Now he's obviously a very long hair cat, as you can see, and long hair cats really need to be brushed a lot. Um, so, when he, starting from when he was a kitten, I worked really hard to make him, make sure he enjoyed being brushed, because I thought it's gonna be so hard if he doesn't like it, right? Like, it's gonna make our lives miserable. So, I brush him a lot, and I don't know if I did anything. Maybe he just liked it. But he really does. And we really like to get his face brushed. Don't you? This, the cheeks. Oh, he loves to get the cheeks brushed. And his chin. He's so 
Abacus loves to eat chicken. It's one of his favorite foods, if not his favorite food. And, like, if I ever bring home a rotisserie chicken, <laughs> he's a monster. <laughs> he's in the kitchen and he's like sitting on the floor. And he yells, he yells at me to give him the chicken. Aren't you a monster? If a food is really smelly, really good to him, he will sit in front of you and meow very, very loudly. Like, you better be giving me some of that. So chicken is like his number one. He also likes some stinky fishes like one time I was at my dad's with him and my dad is making something with like it was like sardines or something and Atticus yelled at my dad <laughs> I'm gonna try to flip him around so we can brush the other side Oh, stretch, yeah, big stretch. Oop, here we go. Okay, see his belly. It's a little naked belly. There you go. Let everyone see her pretty face. She's got a very pretty face. Oh, so if you didn't hear why his paws are shaved, it's just because, um, because he's needed to have some like blood drawn and some, like, some fluids administered and they did that in his arm and so the fur is growing back now this is from an, a little ultrasound he did and your face brushed and the cheek kind of whipping and flicking around stuff. He's hitting the microphone with it. You gotta calm your tail, but calm the tail down. <laughs> I actually thought he would, um, he would get up and leave. I thought he would be annoyed, but he's doing pretty good. He seems to be enjoying this. He really just loves to get pampered. So, any time he can get pampered, he's like all about it. I don't know if he's been purring or not. Yeah, I haven't been able to hear if he's purring. feel very relaxed. Is it giving you ASMR? Are you getting those tingles, bud? Getting the good tingles. I think that cats get ASMR. I think that's what purring is. Right? You know? Cats purr when they get soothed. That's basically ASMR, right? I love these brushes because well, the slicker brushes are a must-have, but this one... Here's scratchy chin. This one is so great because it's got this plunger that you can press, and it pushes all the hair. And then you can just peel the hair off. In fact, the other day, 
we were doing this and we brushed so much hair off this cat that we made him a little hat the cat in the hat um, I'll see if I can find a photo and put it in he was not pleased about his hat let me tell you that man he's making the cutest faces and I feel like you can't even see them because of the way he's the way he's laying. There we go. Let me see if I can adjust the camera too. There we go. Now you can see his little face. <laughs> As he falls asleep. What other things does Atticus like? He likes to scratch his claws on cardboard. He's very good about scratching only the things he's supposed to. He doesn't scratch furniture because, again, I worked really hard when he was a kitten to get him used to this is what you can scratch and this is off limits. And whenever he was scratching something that was off limits, I'd reroute that behavior to be okay, this is you know, like I'd reroute him to cardboard and be like, This is what you scratch. So he was he learned them very quickly. He's very good. There's hair flying everywhere, getting stuck to this blanket. Oh my gosh, if there's some in my mouth <laughs> it's all over my my sweater. I don't, um, I don't pretend that there's not gonna be like a ton of hair in this house though, because I have him and I have a long haired dog. <laughs> so between the two of them, it is hair city over. In fact, I should probably run my little robot vacuum today. I was cleaning my floors earlier and thinking about that. I also... I brought some of Addie's favorite snacks. I thought I'd give him a couple of snacks, but he's so sleepy. I wanted it to be like a reward, like, hey, you did a good job being in the video, but... I don't know, he's real tired. I'll wait a bit. Um, and for those who want to see my doggie, I can put links to the videos I've made of her. I have made two, I believe, ASMR videos with her. However, I cannot make them anymore. And I know that people have asked and asked and asked for more Leia ASMR, but Leia sees the lens of the camera and it freaks her out. You know, dogs uh, don't have good depth perception, so they often see something that's totally dark, like a camera lens, and they don't get a sense of the depth, and it upsets them. And so that's the way Leia is. She does not like cameras, and it can be a camera like this, it can be on my phone, she just really doesn't like cameras, so she doesn't like posing for pictures, she doesn't want to be on film. It's really weird. And if you go watch those videos, you might notice it. Um, how she kind of starts getting uh, anxious. So I don't want to subject her to that. Uh, so I said, alright, no more Leia ASMR, sorry. But this little guy... He doesn't seem to be bothered by it at all, are you? He doesn't seem bothered. I have to say, I know you can't feel him, but he is the softest cat I've ever felt in my life. This fur, it's so soft, it's like baby rabbit fur. He's a, a ragdoll. 
and they don't have an undercoat they just have like the fine top coat so the fur is kind of light and fluffy um, that's why they're just so soft And he, ragdolls are supposed to be one of the cat breeds that's maybe a little more sweet, a little more cuddly, um, very human oriented, and Atticus is all of those things. He really, really is. He gets upset sometimes if he doesn't know where we are, where his parents are. He really likes to be with us at all times and like I said, he often sits in my lap while I work I I wrap him up in this blanket not like wrap wrap, but basically I make like a pouch um, where I lay this half of the blanket on the desk and the other half is like on the arms of my chair and against me so he's kind of enveloped in the blanket in a pouch you know, like that and he sits in that and he's very, very happy um, so that is so cute he likes to do that and he sleeps in bed with me he really he's not a big cat but he takes up a lot of room <laughs> It's actually incredible how much room he can take up because he'll lay he can be quite long when he stretches his little paws out and his back paws out and he can take up like all my leg room it's incredible <laughs> but he likes to sleep with his head you having a dream? <laughs> I don't know if he's dreaming or if he's awake likes to sleep with his head on my leg. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can, without waking him up, I don't think I can do it, I'm gonna see if I can get a piece of his chicken and like stick it in front of his face, but I think as soon as the bag like makes a noise he's gonna wake up. See. Seems to be awkward for you. <laughs> that yummy? That's your favorite snack? It is my favorite snack, he says. Okay, let's see if we can get him to burp. This is how I get him to burp. I just do big strokes of his back. This cat's getting some ASMR. You burn? Are you burning or not? microphone. If you eat that microphone, I'm going to be so annoyed. Oh. That's another thing he does. He, uh, he flops over very dramatically. It's called like the ragdoll flop. And boy does he do it. <laughs> Annie, can you look at the camera? No, I'm too sleepy.
you just burp? <laughs> because <laughs> just making all sorts of little groaning noises. And I guess I'm trying to distract him with the chicken. We rearranged. Um, so we spoke to Leia's vet about why, you know, how can we help her not doing that? And the vet told us that, like, sometimes dogs, if, if their stomach is really empty because they haven't eaten in a long time, then they, they throw up. So she said that we could solve that by giving her a nice big bone or treat, you know, before bed. So she gets a milk bone uh, before bed. So, of course, we, uh, we can't just give Leia something, and not Atticus. So Atticus gets a piece of chicken, of his chicken snacks, before bed. And that is known as the sleepy time snack. And they love it, they look forward to it. In fact, if it's really late, and like we haven't gone to bed yet, they start walking around, like, hello, why am I not getting my sleepy time snack, guys? Oh, look what time it is. Atticus loves to go to bed on time, and if his dad is not ready to give the sleepy time snack, Atticus goes uh, to his room and yells at him. I thought he was doing that last night. And sometimes he paws at his door a little bit. He's like, come on, hurry up, it's time. I don't want to go to bed, I don't want to get my snack. Then, of course, once we shut the doors and it's actually time for him to sleep, he wants to leave. Which is a classic cat, I think. Classic, classic cat. Yeah. So, that's the sleepy time routine. That they get there. Their little chicken and their milk bone. Before bed. And that's the last little thing of the day. Yeah. So, I think Atticus enjoyed this. 
I think, I think he really just <laughs> enjoys being petted and brushed and given free chicken for not doing anything. So if uh, maybe we'll do another one, you guys can let me know what you'd like us to do. Just more, more brushing, more petting. So he hasn't eaten per much. I noticed that when he's uh, on this sedative, it's called gabapentin, it just kind of knocks him out. He just he kind of just acts like this. He just kind of zonked out. And he had some yesterday, so it's not totally left his system, but it is wearing off. And when he does that, he doesn't tend to purr much. So I think he didn't purr much today because of that. But maybe in a week or so, when he's maybe not have needing the sedative as much, maybe we'll do a purring video. Because he really liked this. <laughs> he has no idea that you're watching, of course. He doesn't even see the camera, unlike Leia, who really doesn't like it. Oh, he's so warm. Such a soft little kitty. Such a good boy. Alright. Me and Atticus are gonna say goodbye now. <laughs> he really likes having his face scratched. Even if it makes him look like a little alien. Like, look at this. Look at that face. <laughs> this is little. attention.